Hello and welcome to a core warrior build video that is sure to help you with open world content such as uh, hero challenges, world bosses and uh, metas and even story mode. It's a fun build to play in pretty much most cases. Um, it'll help you out. It's strong enough to take on like uh, bosses and stuff by itself. Uh, put out a decent amount of damage and uh, keep you alive. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started with the build today. Uh, you're going to need to be level 80, of course, for this build to work, because you want to have the gear from the store. The set pieces that we're looking for is going to cost us... Uh, where is it? Do 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 do. It's called, I think, Devona's? Devona. You're going to come to armor here. Chest. You're going to look for this piece, and you're going to write this name down for each pat so you're going to want the six pieces so the chest legs gloves headgear boots shoulders and i think that's it yeah and you're going to want to get all of these these should come up to free gold but make sure you have free gold for the body pads and i'm wearing berserkers but this is pretty much the same thing the bonus is uh Pretty much the same stats as Berserkers, so it was no different. Only Berserkers is more expensive, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> so you can go with that, but that'll cost you free gold for the six pieces. The bonus is a good set. It's power, precision, ferocity. And it's very good for putting damage on the warrior. And uh, we're gonna, next, you're going to want to move on to... Get rid of this text, because it's not going to show up. Now, I favorite of these. Final Verdict. These two axes, what you're going to need for the front bear here. This is going to be where you're going to get your most damage. These will cost you roughly two gold. I think it's like 160. Uh, 100. Uh, not 100. Uh, one gold and like 60 silver. So you're going to need these. These axes and yeah, these are going to be your damage output. And then, uh, once you have that all down and figured out, once you have your two axes already, so the two axes, yeah, they cost uh, one gold and 45 silver right now. They do fluctuate the prices in silver, but, you know. Anyway, once you have those, you want to come down to mace, and you want to get the obliterator. The Obliterator is Power, Precision, Vitality, Ferocity. It's a very good mace. And uh, so the shield you're going to want to look for here is a uh, Skull and Hattie. It's a uh, Power, Precision, Vitality, Ferocity. This will cost you uh, 62 gold. Along with the mace that you had to buy, it'll... It'll roughly go up to almost 2 gold, but not there. So, now you have all of that. Okay, so. What you're going to need for accessories. Accessories get a little expensive. Um, where are they? Favorites. But I managed to find some that are pretty decent. These are the Ruby Mephril Earrings. You're going to need two of these. This will cost you 81 silver. And you're going to go to rings. You're going to need two Berserker rings. These will cost you one gold and 26 silver. And a little bit of bronze. Bronze doesn't really matter though. You need to buy two of those. The stats on these are power, precision, ferocity. Once you get two of those. I haven't even put the things on mine. Still doing enough damage. And a Berserker. Uh, where is it? 
Berserka Amulet. Why is this one better than mine? <laughs> Why is that mine a shitty one? Anyway. Uh, yeah. Get this Berserka one. I don't know why the level 78 is better than the level 80, but you know, that's how it is. Go for that. Berserka Amulet, the level 78 one. It's 24 silver. You're going to need one of these. Once you have all of them. You should look something like this. With the power. Obviously with your skill equipped. Sigil of Might. We're going to equip that. So this is what you're going to look like. I think. Devona comes with. Very Rune of uh, Strength. Uh, do a quick check. Devona does. Okay. Okay, so the build we have is Disciple, Strength, and Defense. Now, I have it set to all of these. I'm not going to explain why. I'm just going to say copy these for like... um why you need them. This is the build that I use and it works pretty well. All down here like this. I'm going to put this build on um, I think it's Guild Wars 2 wiki builds. I'm not sure. Meta builds. Sorry. I'll put this build on meta builds in the description so you can just go in there and copy all of these. And the utility bat we're going to be using. We're going to be using mending for the healing because it Gives a very good heal. And a little bit more damage increase. We're going to be using the Sigil of Might from our Sigils. This is a, an increase in power and might when we use it. So when we have it... Where is our equipment? When we have our Sigil of Might, our power is increased up here. So when we use it, it goes up even more. And then we have for Justice, which gives us Fury and Might. Six Might, actually, for 30. Uh, seven seconds. And we're going to use that. And then we get Critical Chance and Might. And we use it again to get even more. And if you want, you have your banner here. Banner of Tactics. Which will give us Quickness. Now, Quickness... Gives us faster attack speed. Means we can output more damage. This is it normally. <laughs> Slow as hell. And our ultimate ability, or no, elite ability, I guess. Grants adrenaline while in combat. That's just passive. So while we're fighting, this bag goes up faster. And uh, when you activate it, you gain Fury, Might, and Swiftness. So, for Swiftness here, we're going to be popping this pretty often when we're in fights. Well, as often as we can, actually. So, where was it again? This will um, take us out of stuns if we have it. But if you find yourself getting stunned too much, you can probably replace the banner. Or um, shake it off. Your conditions on yourself and nearby allies also breaks stuns. So you get stunned by a boss. Pop this. And it'll break you out of the stun so you can get back in the fight. But I've been using a banner of tactics for the quickness of attack. So I can get more damage out and do more DPS. Alright. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this uh, video of me explaining my warrior build helps you out in the open world and uh, helps you fight and keep going. Because the game is enjoyable, warrior is enjoyable once you have the build set up. This is a fairly cheap build and it'll, it'll get you started in the game until you get your ascendant gear. And the ascendant gear is where it's at really. You could go for legendary, but the stat increases not that much. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the build. I just wanted to share this. I probably want to work on... I think it's Berserker and... Uh, 
Blade Swan next. And then I'll eventually move on to other classes, but right now it's... Oh, and um, Spellbreaker. I haven't even played Spellbreaker yet. I still have yet to unlock Spellbreaker. <laughs> but yeah, next I'll do a build on Berserker. Then I'll probably do Blade Swan. And then uh, this, because I have to unlock that. And I'm lazy and getting hero points is a bitch. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped. It was informative. This is like one of my real first tries on making build videos like this. It's probably not that good <laughs> after watching this back. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and thanks once again for watching.